I'm really not very happy. I mean, I'm happy, but I'm not as happy as everybody thinks I am. Why not? Oh, because I feel that I should be farther ahead than I am. You know, everything is passing me by, and... How old are like you? I'm 20. I'd never guess. Oh, stop. <laughs> don't laugh. I'm serious. I have the feeling that I'll never, you know, be smart, and I'm never going to get the things that I want. And, uh... Oh. What do you feel like? Tell me what you feel like. I feel like I'm in a... a, a in a cocoon and you can't get out? That's right. How did you know? I didn't think boys were supposed to understand things like that. You see, I am far behind. Behind who? Now you sound like David. I hope not. Why not? David is one of the most intelligent people I've ever met in my life. Yeah, but not very romantic. No, he's not very romantic. You're not a very nice person. I mean, I have very romantic inclinations. Be forewarned that I'm not one of these storybook characters that's supposed to be all noble and righteous. When I see someone I like, and that she likes me, we accept my romantic inclinations. Do you happen to know where we are right now? No. That's where I live. Right there, number seven. Come on up for a drink. Well, you're beautiful. On the whole, do you agree with the uh, American way of living? Well, there are many American ways of living. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> well, supposed to be the well, America is a big country with a lot of different geography and, and a seaport. People live differently than in, in a valley, in a farm area, or they live differently than they do in a, in a rocky area. Uh, it's got a lot of different geography and a lot of different time changes and ways and cultural background, the, the background of uh, different people. There, there are places all over America that... Uh, some places are German, some places are, sw are Swedish, some places are Italian, some places are French. And it's a country that has really no basic nationality of its own. It's a country of many, many different people. Sometimes they band together and they make a community. Uh, Making a film in America is a difficult thing because it's, it's a very complicated country. Hey, Benny! And to, to talk about the people or the, or the, prob the social problems, there isn't any clean-cut social problem today. The problems are uh, manifest, but they're all human problems. And, and today, the people in the world, all over the world, have inherited the disease, first of uh, feeling that economy is the answer to, to their lives' problems, and then Secondly, they, they feel that intellectualism is an answer to the problems. And uh, the point is that we don't know everything, and it's impossible to know anything, because if you were in a room full of books, uh, a library, there's no way that you could read every book in the world if you, if you lived uh, seven lifetimes. You couldn't, 20 lifetimes, a thousand lifetimes. And so people have a little bit of knowledge, and they feel that it's very important that they can that they that they can be very fluent in in a problem that exists for instance uh, there isn't an american in america or probably a, a person in the world that doesn't feel that they know what is wrong with our country in, in terms of the uh, uh, black white situation in our country I think if we're analyzed, I don't think anyone really knows what it is, including the, the Negroes and, and the whites that are actually militantly participating. You want a drink? You want me to get you a drink? No, thanks. I don't want a drink. Well, you'll find that it's good for what ails you. Just pull yourself together. Because you're not kidding anybody but yourself. You know, you have your sense of... Uh, Values all mixed up, so I think it's just too much to catch. Don't touch me. Come on, just a little taste. Let me go. 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 What the hell is 
wrong with that guy? What's wrong with you? We need to be careful. What's wrong with that guy? What's wrong with him? Uh, you have to fight every day. <laughs> you have to fight every day to keep your sanity and stop from uh, and stop from censoring yourself. Because in censoring yourself, you have no one else to blame. And what happens to artists is that uh, it's not that somebody is standing in their way; it's that their their own selves are standing in their ways. And the whole idea, to me, and to the people that we work with, is to find some kind of um, personal truth, some kind of uh, revelation. That's why when we try to work on a story, we work on a story that, uh, that has some kind of a meaning that we don't quite understand. Yes, but uh, where, where did you take the ID from? What? What Shadows. idea? Shadows? Yeah. Uh, Shadows was a... Uh, we had a workshop. And in this workshop, there were a lot of people that came in off the streets. I had originally formed this workshop because I had a lot of out-of-work friends who were actors. When I rented this workshop for a year, none of those friends came because I wanted them to uh, 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 do scenes so that producers and directors could come down and watch them, not as a school. But no one showed up, and I had this place for a year. So uh, uh, I put an ad in the New York Times and I said, anybody that wants to come down and use a workshop to, to work on acting, come on down. And the next day the place was mobbed with people. And they were all amateur people like uh, pickpockets and, and lawyers, uh, bankers, policemen, uh, uh, students, people off the streets uh, who just wanted to come down and, and work. Hey! Come on! So you finally made it. No sweat, man. No sweat. I tell you, I got some bad news. Same move? No. Hmm? Don't you fly shadows? 